Welcome to Tiny Texas Living. Who says you can't live big while living tiny? Oh, what have I done? I left these in the van a little bit long and the ends are kind of curly now. It's getting better. Just putting literally everything that I have that's heavy on them so that I can flatten them back out for a little project because today's bedroom day. <sighs> I still can't finish my bedroom, but I can get closer and that's me being optimistic. My van still somewhat lives in my bedroom. So I'm gonna just have to kind of work around it. But I think this is a good time for me to organize my, my vanity, get my big mirror ready, to address a few little things that I have going on and to hang up my coat hook and maybe work on an art wall. I'm not sure. I haven't decided that yet, but my bedroom is definitely something that is a place that I find comfort. And even with the extra stuff in it right now, this too shall pass. So I guess I'll start with cleaning off my nightstands. It shouldn't take very long. There's not much stuff on them, but I have some things I use every day. So um, yeah, they just need to move. This will also give me a time to dust, which is really good. So all of this stuff needs to go and I haven't been able to fix my bunny light. It had an unfortunate demise, something happened to it. So maybe this is a good time to look at it and see if I can fix it also. <sighs> Air conditioner feels really good though. Oh no, but really, oh, this feels so good. It's so hot outside. Just going to Walmart was hard today. But I think that these are going to fix the issue that I'm having with my nightstands. This one's not bad. But the other one I put a water bottle on and the other day my water bottle dripped and it made these little bumps and I don't want it to continue doing that. So I'm just going to cover them with this because that'll keep a barrier there. Focus, focus, focus. I need to focus. In the meantime, this is all the stuff that lives in my room that doesn't really belong here. This is my van. This is stuff for my van. I can't do anything about it, but I can potentially make it look a little bit more organized. So when I'm having to stare at it, I don't have to stare at as much stuff. You know, that's the negative of having a travel vehicle that you normally live in about 75% of the year. You have like a full house inside of that. And then whenever you can't have that full house available because you can't have stuff in it because it could have to go to the shop at any point in time, then uh, it just has to live somewhere. And I don't have room for it very many places, but my room is bigger, so it does have space along this side. So for the time being, I'm coexisting with a bunch of extra stuff. Like all of this stuff, I use this stuff every time I put on my makeup and normally it's a bit more organized, but I knew I was about to just like move everything off. So I just stacked it all up on there. Most of the things that are here do have a home, but the problem is that home is over there and I can't get to it. Again, because my van lives inside my tiny home right now. A shelf that normally wouldn't be here and it really closes in the space and I don't like it at all. So I'll be really happy when it's not in here anymore. But in the meantime, that doesn't mean that I have to be miserable or upset or frustrated, even though I feel miserable and upset and frustrated. So these small things are gonna help me out with that. So I think what I'm gonna do is just work on the things I can control and not worry about the things I cannot control. For the time being, I could quasi make my bed. It's not perfect, but it'll be okay. I was going to wash my sheets today, but that's just not gonna happen. So instead I'll just make this for the time being where it looks okay. I need to go find the tennis shoes that go in here and organize these because I tripped over them all ago. Tennis shoes, tennis shoes, tennis shoes. Actually, you know what? I have two of these because I have two sets of tennis shoes. I'll set them here until I go into the other room. Okay, now all of this can go on the bed because it's kind of made up now. And I'll just unplug everything and set it over here. And then I'll work through the pile. Something pretty consistent in my life is that I'm really good at if I have a task at hand, I put it in one place and then I work through the completion of that one place. And that way I can't move forward until that one place is clear. So everything off of the side tables goes on the bed. I also have some clothes I need to hang up. They probably also need to go on the bed. So here we go. All of this goes here. 
and now I need to find a dust cloth because I definitely need to dust it and maybe some stuff to clean it with. I don't know though, because the moisture seems to be problematic for this. And while I'm at it, I'll just move all of this off so I can put it all away finally. Now that I've used it to flatten these because they, they look like they're pretty good. I do need to cut some tags though first. Okay, this is gonna be an easy project for today. If I can't get anything else accomplished, that's okay because I'll at least have this one done. Now I get to find out if these fit. I have no idea. This was the closest thing I could find to what I need, so I sure am hoping that it fits. Okay, dusting. It's actually not that bad. Okay, so now take one of these and over here it goes. It's not quite the right size, it's a little long, so I need to figure out how I wanna proceed. Do I want to cut it? I think that would work, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to cut it because this shelf is actually in there, in there, so I can't like loop it behind. Now, is that gonna mess up this? Probably, I don't know. My other solution would be to wrap it and secure it, but I feel like it's going to come off if I do that. Huh, maybe? I wonder if I can figure this out. Eyes on the prize, I have these two things. I need to go get the other mat because they're both gonna be the same size so I can cut them together. If you do one thing, it turns into another thing. Story of my life. Okay, I have one here and I have one over there and I probably need something to mark this with also, or I could just go and go straight over and like cut a little piece and then just follow it across. That might be the easiest way to do it because it seems like it has straight lines. Is this the smartest idea I've had? Probably not, but is it the idea that seems to work for me in this moment? Yes, yes it is. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll clip it just a little. I guess I can take it and clip the other side too, just to make sure that I'm building a straight line. Okay, uh, I don't even know how to get in here. Okay, maybe I don't do that. Maybe I just go from that side. Okay, I moved it and it, it looks fairly even. It's not fraying, so that's positive. So now's the test, does it fit? So, oh, please work, please work. Okay, it's still a little long, just a little bit though. So I could clip it again or, let's see. It appears that I went kind of a little bit over. So yeah, I'll just trim it just a little bit more and I can see now that I, I kind of went out in fear. So I need to follow this line a little bit more closely. So I probably need to trim about a quarter inch off of this side and just a hair off of this side. Okay, now I have the other one and it's laying below it. So I'm just gonna use this one as a pattern and just cut this other one. So I'll have what the equivalent of this would have been on this one just from the start. You know, inch by inch, it's a cinch, yard by yard, it's very, very hard. Okay, it, di it didn't move, it didn't move. I'm okay, I'm okay. So now I can place this one and then I'll go clean off the other side and then I can place this one and then that is a job complete. Okay, now it's time to dust the items that go over here again and into place it goes. I may end up changing some of this, but for now this works. And then my watch plugs in over here so I can get it charged every night. I may eventually get a charger station for this so it looks nicer though. But yay, for now that's good. Okay, good wasn't quite good enough so I moved it behind. I think I like this better. I have to figure you out still, just not right now. I think this is gonna be a project for later because it's an electronic project and if I get frustrated, I can't ask anybody for help right now. Whew. One down, one to go. This is the one that I use for like my functional stuff, like my lotion that I use every night for my hands and my feet. Um, I have like my retainer that goes here. I have my eye drops. This is where my water bottle goes. So uh, this one's the one that definitely needs the thing the most. It's also the one that is a train wreck right now. Okay, all of this needs to go for now. In all reality, I think I want to put some of this away 
but I don't know where to put it yet. So for the time being, these are the items I use every single night. So it'll just have to work. Also, I had these on there, which I was looking for these. I didn't know I had them literally in front of my face. This is why it's important for everything to have a place. You live, you learn, you do better. And I definitely have a place to put all of these and all of my camera equipment in my space so that they're not just out. So here they go for now. Camera stuff goes in there with it. It looks like a mess in here still. It's okay. I'm getting closer. If I would have actually made my bed, it would look way better, but I just did not today. It was one of those days. Um, this will go up as soon as I can find the drill because I want to hang a hook to hang my little house coat. It just seems like such a big, huge, like white space. So I feel like I need something, but I don't know what, and I don't want to get something that's going to push the bed out into the room because I like where it kind of tucks away. So maybe I'll do like a faux headboard. I don't know, that's gonna be a future project though because I really have to put some thought into that. For now, however, I'll pack up my trash, throw it away, and put these back up since they have a place. Boop, bye-bye. I also need to cut the tags on this, which is a coat that I just bought. Despite the fact that it's boiling outside, this is the best time to buy a jacket. Jackets are hard to find. And when you find one that actually fits and feels good and looks nice and works with what you have in your mind, you get it because it may or may not be available later in the season or for the price that you find it for when it's the off season. So even though it was boiling hot when I was out shopping, I found that and was like, absolutely yes, sign me up. Please, please let me buy a jacket in the middle of the heat wave. And uh, whenever I went to go check out, the lady was very nice as she looked at me like I was crazy. Okay, those are ready, but I'm gonna see if I have anything else that needs to be hung up because one of the things I struggle with is putting my clothes away. I really hate whenever I put my clothes away and then I realize, oh, I forgot this. For some reason, that is like the thorn in my side. So I would rather just have everything right here until I know for a fact there is nothing else that needs to be put away. I don't know why, it's just one of those things. I will put them away, but it takes me going through everything just to make sure before I do it. I don't know why I'm like this. Oh, yep, right here. These need to go away too. I had them out flat drying because they cannot be put in the dryer. So see, this is, this is why I do this. Oh, oh, I found these too. These also need to be put away. And the pile continues to grow. See, I knew this would happen. This is why I just do it this way. I can lay it all out and then I can put it all away at once. I've learned some things about myself over the span of my lifetime about what my icks are and my icks usually are things that aren't icks to other people. They're just really random icks, but I'm getting things done and uh, one, one thing at a time. Oh, I can do this, I can do this. <laughs> I just went to go check the mail and this came in for my bedroom project yay so I was about to start on the actual mirror and this came so I may do this first this is just a stool cover I like the one that I had in my living room so much that I decided to buy one for my bedroom it was like 10 bucks 10 bucks to save the stool seat awesome Okay, just so it's easier to work with, I put it on my bed, and this is the stool. I can see that I have discolored it a little bit sitting on it while doing my makeup. I kind of thought that was probably the case. This is just not a good color for me personally. I do not do well with light colors like this. So, this should fix that. Okay, must open this up, pull it out and make sure that there's nothing like inside it. I also need to unhook this. So that's the little clasp that goes on the bottom. And then I should be able to just push this out over the stool and then buckle it into place. Okay, so it goes over and then I need to make sure that it can buckle. So I'll pull the corners. I think this is the way that it goes. Let's see. Yeah, that looks really nice. Um, and I'll just adjust the corners accordingly. And then this will go under and I'll buckle. Huh. I think the other one I actually put on 
where the buckles went across this way to make it a bit tighter though. So let me try that instead. Let's see if that works. And adjusting the corners. Oops, walk it over, pull it down. Ooh, that's gonna look nice. And that's gonna actually match my bedspread better. Still have a little tweaking to do with the corners, but that's okay. I'll do that after I get it all secure but I really like this because this definitely matches my bedspread better. It's quite the vibe. This is so good because I have been not using the bench or using the bench with a blanket on it because I was afraid I was going to ruin the bench. And now if I spill on it, I can just take this off, throw it in the washing machine and breathe. And worst case scenario, I can replace it with a different color if I decide to change my room and that's fine. Of course, now I have to clip it together and there's a little space that this goes inside. This is the hardest part of the entire process. Okay, in it goes and then pop together and then that's good. So that's all done. I can put this back and then whenever I start working on the actual vanity area, this part's finished. It looks like they also sent me a card from Amazon. Okay, that's interesting. Huh. Oh well, I guess I'll keep this in case I need this again. Well, it's also in my Amazon history though, so I guess I'm probably good. That was like the best less than $15 I've spent in this room, period. Like everything else is really nice, but that was something that addressed so many of my anxieties. Whew, okay. Yeah, doing good now. Feeling refreshed, feeling good, and feeling like I could conquer another project. So maybe I should go paint the mirror now. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go paint the mirror now, actually. Oh. So I didn't finish my work yesterday. Um, I just started to get super tired. One of the things that I've noticed is that because I'm doing so many different projects in all the different rooms and spaces and outdoors, that sometimes my brain just gets so overwhelmed. So instead of finishing up yesterday, I decided I was gonna take a me moment and I did my hair and then I just relaxed. Yeah, I figured the projects would still be here today. So I'm still in my pajamas trying to get my life together but I think I'm finally going to hang up my rope hook because I now have the drill. So I can plug this in and uh, hang up the hook now. Just need to grab this and anything on this table is stuff that I need to do still or put away. As much as I like to keep things in like good order, sometimes whenever you just get overwhelmed, you just get overwhelmed and you have to stop. But the nice thing is that the projects are always there whenever you come back to them, so time to do my little hook and then that'll be one less thing that I need to do in my room and um, yeah I'm, I'm getting closer I think I'm gonna divide this project up into several days though just because at this point I can't complete it I haven't been able to find the rug that I'm looking for I've been shopping endlessly online I've gone into stores I've looked everywhere I can't find what I'm looking for and it's hard to envision the space whenever I have parts of my van in there and I don't have the other things. So I think what I'm gonna do is just do the things that I can do and slowly move through this and um, figure out meaningful solutions kind of as I go. Okay, so this is just super inexpensive, like less than $3 at Walmart. And it's gonna solve all my issues from where the command strip was. Kind of thinking like here, that way it's easy to kind of gauge it. I could put it right here so I'll have a nice even line to make sure it's straight. That actually is really smart. I think I should do that. At the same time, I wanna make sure it doesn't go into the actual crease because even though that is also solid, it'll just be problematic in the long run. So I'll just place it a little bit above and then raise it so I can even it out. Whoa, that's, that's really fast. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. This thing is big. Okay, and if I just kind of push it a little bit. Ooh, I can do it, I can do it. Oh, I 
I think that's backwards. There we go. Okay, that was more complicated than I thought it would because I couldn't figure out how to make the drill go in the correct direction because I haven't used this drill before. This is a borrowed drill and it is much different than the little handheld one that I used to use. But it's there, it's there. So I just have to put the other one in now. Yay, <laughs> I'm almost done. Okay, so now that it's going in the right direction, let's see if I can do this other one. Line it up. This is so bulky. It's in there. <laughs> I did it. To the trash I go and then I can hang up my robe. <sighs> okay, so from this, to this. I, I'm definitely happy because I can still use this. I still have some backing things so I could use this on something lighter which I will probably do but for now perfect. I'm so excited. I, I have one more thing though. Sometimes I also like to hang up a sweater like the one that I'm wearing. So now I have a hook for that also and it doesn't impede my aisle. This is the perfect like height and distance so I can just come in, grab what I need, put it on, yes. So now I can go put this away. I do have another project I need to use it for, but that's a porch thing and it's not happening right now. I need to take some screws out of the front porch area. I can do that soon. But I also purchased something else that I kind of want to at least get an idea as to what I want to do. Um, not sure how this is gonna turn out yet. But this area right here with this painting, I was kind of thinking might be a good place to put some of my travel photos because otherwise it's just a nice big piece of real estate. Now I thought about doing that or placing it on this wall. So I went ahead and purchased some frames whenever I was at Dollar Tree. They're all black, so that way they have consistency in the color, but they're all different styles, which kind of echoes who I am. So I guess I could unwrap those. I don't have photos for them yet, so I'm not gonna be able to do too much with them. Hmm, maybe I should just leave them in the plastic until I'm ready. Okay, so I ended up with a bunch of different ones. I picked up four by sixes like these, and then also some five by sevens like these with the little different border. I found some four by sixes with the same border. And then I found five by sevens with this really funky, cool border. And then I found one eight by 10. That was all that they had that had an actual hanging hook on it. So all together, I have four of these and then one, two, let's see three, four, five, six of these, and then one of these. So altogether I have 11 frames to start this project. And I like that they all have kind of different kinds of borders on them, just because I think that's gonna be super fun. But then I also love that they're all the same color so that I can have a lot of fun with it, but also keep some consistency. So maybe I will go through some of my adventure photos, find the ones that I like, and get them printed either locally or maybe through like Snapfish or something. And that way I can start on this project in the future. But one of the criteria that I had was everything had to have these hanging hooks. And so all of these do, so I can use like command hooks with them so that I don't have to put individual screws for each one. Cause I wanna be able to move these around kind of as I add to it. Especially considering I'm not sure where I wanna put it yet. I think that having the command option is gonna be better. That way I can kind of mix and match and change and move. And then also not worry about it if I decide that I hate the project and I wanna take them all down. So, I thought starting off here was a good number of them, but also it's a good way for me to like get an idea as to what kind of photos I want to start using. And if I don't have all the photos that I want right now, I'll know what I would like to use on the wall in the future. I thought about doing all the photos in like black and white because I thought that would be super cool. But part of the reason I enjoy my adventures is because they're so vibrant and colorful. So I think it would be a disservice to do that. But I think what I could do is instead of using glossy, use matte because matte 
will fix some of the like weirdness that happens on the photos. So I think I'm going to go ahead and find photos, print them in matte, and then I'll probably have to wait for them to come in. Probably. That's kind of what I'm assuming. So for now, I'll just put all these away and leave them in their plastic just so that I don't have to worry about anything happening to them. And then when the photos come in, then I'll start this project. So back in the bag I go. And um, yeah, all of these frames from the Dollar Tree were $1.25 a piece, no matter what size they were. And so I have less than $20 invested in frames. That's not bad. In the meantime, this will be just something that is kind of hanging out here in the tiny space until I get this project. The one thing that I have learned is that because I have storage for like regular things, but not storage for like tons of projects, is that I have to physically look at something until it is finished because otherwise it doesn't really have a place to fit into the tiny home. Kind of like the cornhole boards. The cornhole boards are sitting there just hanging out until I get an outdoor space ready for them. And I don't necessarily mind because, you know, it's just, it's just me. But when I start getting like bags of stuff, it starts to become very overwhelming very quickly. So it speeds me right on along with the projects. So for the time being, I'm going to put away this piece, which I got for a project in my bedroom, in my actual bedroom. And um, I will pull this guy out whenever I'm ready to organize. And until then, I've got a lot of thinking to do. I've got a lot of projects that are kind of in the works with the bedroom and uh, some of the things I'm doing in the kitchen, some of the things that I've just done in the bathroom that I'm just waiting for completion, the porch. It's a constant ongoing like evolution of what's happening. At any given time, there's at least five different projects happening in my tiny space. And so I'm just trying to figure out how to balance doing those things, but also doing my everyday normal stuff like my travel channel and going on adventures and trying to make sure that I don't overwhelm myself. And finding balance is somewhat hard sometimes, but um, I'm getting there. I'm definitely getting there. 